This study explored the effects of training the biceps at a shorter versus a longer muscle length on hypertrophy outcomes. 32 untrained subjects performed a biceps training protocol consisting of single arm preacher curls two times per week for five weeks. Trainees were randomly assigned to one of three groups. In one group, the curls were only performed through 0 to 50 degrees range of motion from the extended elbow position. So in this training group, the biceps were trained at a lengthened position. In the second group, the curls were only performed through 80 to 130 degrees range of motion, which is the top portion of the exercise. So in this group, the biceps were trained at a shorter muscle length compared with the first group. And the third group was a control, where no training was performed at all. So in both the training groups, the same 50 degrees range of motion was performed, although it was trained at different portions and therefore different muscle lengths. Both groups performed three sets of 10 reps each session through their respective ranges of motion. The load was progressively increased each week and adjusted based on the individual's strength level. However, the study didn't mention the specific proximity to failure for each set. After the five week training intervention, both the training groups saw increases in biceps muscle thickness. However, as we can see here, the group training at a longer muscle length saw significantly greater gains than the group training the biceps at a shorter muscle length. Furthermore, this graph shows the changes in regional hypertrophy outcomes, which means the changes in muscle thickness at different portions of the biceps. As we can see here, the extended elbow position resulted in superior muscle growth at all sites, especially at the distal portion. This study adds to the growing body of evidence, suggesting that when we stress a muscle at longer lengths, it seems to be more hypertrophic compared with training at shorter muscle lengths. This concept has two practical recommendations for lifters. First, it suggests that we should train through full range of motion to ensure we stress the muscle at long lengths. And second is that trainees may seek to prioritize exercises which stress the target muscle at longer lengths. For example, in the case of the biceps, maybe an inclined seated bicep curl is a good option for biceps hypertrophy since it trains the biceps in a highly stretched position.